Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we're going to be creating a cracked screen slash glass. God, I don't know what is with Camtasia lately. Okay, so this is what we're going to be creating, or something like it. First off, what you want to do is get your photo, and you want to color correct it, which is making it look with good, hang on can't find this and talk at the same time. Okay. Crap. Okay. Here's the original photo. And this is what I did to it. I added the color, different darkness. Yeah. So, sorry. I've done this tutorial a few times and Camtasia is just not working for me. So hopefully it works this time. So go to your curves and just adjust it where you like it, you know. It looks pretty good. And uh, let's do a color balance. Let's get it nice and blue. Okay, and photo filter always looks good. That's a maybe. Let's turn that up. And. Oh. Just filter through these pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I did. Okay. And then we're going to go to Vibrance, which just takes down the color and detail just a little bit. Not really a detail, but just more like the color detail. And yeah, that's pretty close. I know I did a little radio blur. Like, you see how these are kind of blurry. But, um,. That's pretty close. I know it's not, but just bear with me here. Okay, so we're going to take all of these and merge them. If you don't know how to do that, go to Layer, Merge Visible. Make sure this one's off. Okay. So what we need now, after we've color corrected, let's uh, add some aspect ratio. Or black bars. Actually, let's make that a little bigger. Okay. What this does is uh, make a new layer. It, when we're getting the texture on it, by the way, to uh, make that push M or this, just click and drag, and then go to your paint bucket, color it, make sure it's in black and then go back to this and you'll be able to move it around. But um, a paint bucket. When we have our texture on it, it'll be easy to resize it and stuff, which we're going to do now. Okay. Um, the texture that I used, for some reason, works better. This is the one I used. I tried it with this one, and it just doesn't look the same. I'll put that up there so we can use it. I'll show you later. Alright, but here's the one that we're going to be using. The uh, the detail in it, from just the white to the background behind the glass, um, it just shows up better, and it the way these glass the glass is cut, like the way it broke, just makes your photo kind of like right here. There's like it's kind of spaced. It makes your photo look like it's like broken apart. So, yeah, we already copied that. Okay, now what we want to do is get rid of some of these. Alright, go to your move tool or V. Go up there, put on the two so it splits your screen. 
and move that over so we can get to it. Okay, click and drag, boom, got it. Go to this one. Control T, resize it. Make sure you look on both sides that it fits in. And it doesn't it doesn't have to be like perfectly because you have the black bars. It could be like this for all I care. So we got it. Another thing that I was looking at was this hole. I wanted it to be like in my face, or at least in this area. So I was like, um Yeah, let's rotate it. Control T. Hold down shift and it moves faster. And then once you got it that way, hold down shift and alt. Or you could just hold down shift or nothing. And it, that just like makes it so it's the same size and it does it equally. Um yeah. So that's pretty close. We could make it a little bigger or so. Just move it towards my ear or something. Looks cool. Turn it back up. Okay. Now that we have all of this black bars, everything, we want to merge them. Control Shift E. Make sure this bottom one is off because we're going to need that. Or um, we can go to Layer, Merge Visible. Okay. I'm sorry I messed up. What we have to do is merge these two. If you have to undo, it's Control Z, Control Alt Z to keep going. Okay, so these two, the black bars and your color correction photo. Now merge visible. And take your texture layer. Sorry, I was just getting ahead of myself. And put it on subtract. So you can already see how the cracks were making their splits or whatever. But what we want to do is bring out some of the color. So we can merge those now. So we want to turn this back on. And it won't move up. So double click and push enter. It just renames it or just duplicate it. Doesn't matter. And just move it above it. Then go to subtract. I mean divide. And look at the difference. Brings out your color, and overall it just looks badass. So, this is the conclusion of my tutorial, and hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to get your texture. Go to Google Images, Broken Glass, second page, and it's the second one on the bottom, like in the middle, to the left. Um, yep. And I don't know. Oh yeah, sorry guys, I forgot about this. We will. I will show you why the the glass makes such a difference. You can stop watching or just watch it anyway. Doesn't matter to me, but the video's gonna go on. It's just why that picture was so important, because it just turns out well. Okay. We had it on subtract. Yep. You see how much darker it is? Um, I could duplicate this, maybe make it brighter with screen, dodge, and do screen. Okay, so we got screen to line it up a little bit, and it's still, I mean, it just kind of ruins it. Anyway, we got that done, so turn this off, merge, put 
put it up there and divide. I mean, compared to compared to this, it's not really that good. I mean, over here it looks all right. It kind of looks like a dinosaur scales, you know. But yeah. Hope you liked the tutorial, and this is finally the end. So, um, yeah, guys, keep uh, experimenting with it. Try different uh, textures, and we'll see you next time.